It's day 14 for the eggs in the incubator. So I'm going to candle them again and see which ones are growing and if the air sacs are growing enough. And I'm going to remove all the ones that haven't been fertilized. If one of them explodes, which can happen um, if there's like a crack in it or if there's bacteria, bacteria in it, um, it can explode all through the incubator and it can infect the rest of the eggs because owls are, um, because shells are porous, so if one exploded and it was infected with the bacteria, it could kill the entire batch of eggs. So I'm going to be sure to remove all the ones that aren't fertile. Um, and then in another four days, um, I'm going to turn the automatic turning device off. I'm going to lay them um, flat, ready for them to hatch. So um, I won't be able to open it. We're going to be in lockdown. I'm going to have to get the humidity as high as I can, which I don't think will be an issue because the humidity has been pretty high in here anyway. I'm hoping that hasn't caused any issues um, with the air sacs not growing enough, so I want to double check that. Um, but from day 18, we may have some hatching. They should hatch on day 21, but um, day 18, they might start to pip or start to crack out of the shell. Um, ready to hatch in the next few days. So that's really exciting. I'm really looking forward to having some more baby chicks. It'll be super cool to watch them hatch. Um, I'm going to put the camera on um, when I notice that um, we're starting to get some, ha some hatching and hopefully we can catch it on film because I think that would be super cool and super exciting. Anyway, I'm going to start candling the eggs. I'm going to show you um, anything super cool like if I can see a fetus in there, um, and I'll show you again what a non-fertilized egg looks like. Thanks guys for watching. So this is a fertile egg. Um, you can kind of see a chicken in there. See the dark shadows? That's right, just keep it. You can see the dark shadows, that's the chicken. So here, it's got an air sac is whoop, there and it's growing. So that's awesome, that's really good news. And you can see all the veins. You can see them really well now. Last time it was really hard to show you, but you can see how prominent they are now. There's a chicken there. It'd be super cool if we could see it move, but I don't know what that bit is. Oh. Wait a minute. I can see it move. Just a little bit there. Okay. So this one's got a little bit of development, but there's no way it's going to develop enough in time. It may have died. Um, you know, a few a few days after it was fertilized or a few days after it was in the incubator, you can see straight through it. But there's a little bit of the development, but there's no way that's going to hatch. So I'm just going to give that to the pigs. Another non-fertile egg. So I'm just going to give that to the pigs. Non-fertile, I'm pretty sure that was fertile last time. Yep. Another non-fertile egg. It has got a vein in it, so it was developing at some stage and then it died, so that sucks. But we'll give that one to the pigs too. Mm. Non-fertile. It was development in that. Sure it's not still going? Don't know. You can leave it in there if you want. But there's no veins. Okay, there is something in there, I know, but it's not developed. Don't want to explode. Okay, there's something in that one. Clean. 
So these are all our infertile eggs. There's a couple more than last time. The ones that didn't develop further, which is normal that happens. And there's gonna be some that don't hatch as well. So that's gonna suck, but I know it's gonna happen. We'll probably get around about 60, I reckon about 60 live chicks. Um, 60 out of 96. So it's a little more than half. Hopefully we get more, but um, you know, I'm hoping for 60 at least. Our leghorn rooster did an amazing job. He's got nearly 100% strike rate. Um, one of the eyes of brown eggs, I thought we only had three fertile out of six, but we've actually got four that's got development in it. So I'm really excited and I'm glad that we kept them in there for a little bit longer um, before we threw some of them out. Um, so really happy that we've got, you know, an extra eyes of brown cross. Um, I can't, I can never remember what he is cross. Do you remember what he is? Not a Barnavelda. Plymouth Rock. He's a Plymouth Rock. So um, I reckon the eyes of brown cross Plymouth Rock will be really cute. He's actually red in colour or orangey in colour. He's got beautiful coloured feathers. So I think him crossed with a, um, an eyes of brown who's already orange, they're going to be beautiful. I'm really looking forward to seeing those. Um, the lavender Aricana rooster wasn't so good. It's not our, ours. I bought those eggs. Um, and also the black wasn't very good. So we won't have as many lavender and black, although I think we had a heap of lavender eggs, um, but we didn't have as many black eggs. Um, so it'll be super cool to see what we come out up with. I'm really looking forward to having Aricanas, and I'm really looking forward to crossing them with the Morans too, to get an Olivega. So in four days, we'll put the incubator in lockdown. Um, we'll take the eggs out of the automatic turners and then we wait for the chicks to hatch, which I'm so excited about seeing. I think the kids will really enjoy watching them hatch too. <laughs> we hope you have a good night and we'll see you tomorrow.